So we'll go from, uh, let's go from back fly. Okay, Amis can go back and back fly. Give her a good stretch first because she's about to pop out. <laughs> so first thing I do is I, I just walk my fly up. We're going from here to here. Get a really clear about where they're going, okay? Okay, back to back fly. Okay, worst fall. One, two, popping up. And when you pop up, they go straight down. Yeah, right there. Yeah. <laughs> so you're back on your back and there's yeah. protection. And more so popping straight up and the head goes straight down this way beyond your legs where you have absolutely nothing to catch with, okay? Mm -hmm. So how do we do to prevent that? We're leaning back. For me, it's all about the swing and the flyer. Um, I'll have her engage her core, mm -hmm. point her legs straddled wide, right around there, okay? And then from here, I'll ask them to, I'll say one. So again, when I communicate with my flyer, I, I don't say what I'm doing, I say what they're about to do. I say one, two, down, and I say swing. And when she swings her legs really hard over, she'll land over here on purpose. So do a few of those to where you're swinging your legs all the way over and then landing on your feet. I swing well. Yeah, so it's one, two, down, swing. So I want you to practice that on the ground before you, so you know the motion, a lot of core. Otherwise, you're going straight up and straight down. So the bigger your swing, the more that kind of curvature you're creating, and you naturally will come over. And then, and only then once you overdo it, then you can do a little less and less, and you'll, you can adjust from there. I'd rather you overswing than underswing, right? Have you done whips back? It's the same motion. Same motion. Except Good point. Going around feet, you're just Perfect way to describe that. Thank you. Yeah. So back. So I start with this nice straddle first, and then we'll, we'll create better lines with legs later, but do the nice straddle engaged core, and she'll overswing, and I'll try to catch my feet and our shoulders, she'll land here on purpose, okay? Legs wide, one, two, down, swing. You want me to fall on purpose, or you want me to actually? Um, just go there, and if you fall, you fall, but okay. I want you to focus on overswinging, okay? Mm -hmm. One, two, down, swing. Uh -huh. Right, just do that a bit. And then once you get that comfortable that, then you can know how much you should pop. So between your pop and their swing creates the, the motion, right? Okay. Yep. So again, watch the elbows, she keeps them in. She engages the core, because this is a big, mm -hmm. this, is, this is like doing a really deep back, back bend, right? Engaged core. And then uh, once we get this a few times, then do, that feels comfortable, she can bring her feet together and one knee stagged. Now this creates a nice prettier line to do a swing. So it's the same thing, one, two, swing over, okay? One, two, down, swing. Boom, they can do that. And when, when she straddles out like that, it does a little opening, which is cool, and it makes it easier to balance too. Okay. And then from there, the last pop we'll do, uh, we'll go out, straddle, and then I'm gonna walk the corkscrew first, this over hips here, and then that top hip comes down, we're gonna pop that last bit. We're gonna pop from star here. Just creating a nice big pop. Okay. Yeah. okay? So I'll teach that.